Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so not only have Amazon changed some of the buttons on some systems, but they've also in some cases changed the Wi-Fi UI, which gives you all these details here connected to Wi-Fi, connected to the internet, and also gives you the ability to run a speed test as well. As well as that, you've got advanced options in here. So let's have a look how you get to this. So first of all, all you need to do is go across to the settings cog. Now I must say I'm running this on a 4K Max at the moment. And uh, let's just have a look and see what the uh, Fire OS is. So I've got Fire OS 7.2.8.5, PS7285 slash 2877. And the Fire TV home version is 637 so all we need to do is just go into the settings cog, like I said, just on the right, just there, middle button on your remote control, and then down to network, go into network, select the network that you're currently connected to just by highlighting it. You don't have to press the middle button and then press the play pause button on your remote control. And there you go. You come to this menu here, which tells you about the signal strength of your Wi-Fi. Make sure that it's connected to the internet, gives you any recommendations. So here it says no issues were found with your network connection. And we've also got a network download speed. So if we go across there to run speed test, middle button on the remote control, there we go. It's now doing a network download speed test. Now, I haven't got a very fast internet connection thanks to OpenReach and their aluminium lines, but can't do anything about that. OpenReach won't budge. So let's just have a look to see what speed it comes up with. Now, this might take a bit of time to run the speed test, there you go. So I've got an internet speed of 24.08 Mbps, and it was last measured today at 13.13 British summer time. So yeah, that's about what I get. So it says here under the recommendations, based on your latest speed test results, your internet speed can support up to 1080p video quality without interruptions. So we can also go into the advanced menu here, which tells us a bit more. So it tells us the network type is Wi-Fi, gives us the network name, tells us the channel that it's on and the frequency, along with the MAC address and the BSSID as well, the IPv4 address and the IPv6 address. It also gives us these handy figures here, which are signal strength and the noise and also what else is using the channel? Is there other things using this channel? Well, in my case, it's low. So the signal to noise ratio is high, 61. So here, it's quite good because if this channel use was high, there might be a lot of interference. So what I could do is I could go to my hub, my router, my modem, whatever supplies my Wi-Fi, and I could change the channel, this channel here, to a different channel which might help alleviate any problems. If I go down further here, we've got other bits of information. So we've got the gateway address, the DNS address, captive portal is no, and it's not a metered connection. And also it tells us a bit more about data monitoring. So my data monitoring is enabled. The data alert is set to 9,999 gigabytes. I've used 111 megabytes today 396.2 megabytes this week and eight gigabytes this month, 41 gigabytes the previous month there. So it tells us about what data I've used on the Fire Stick. So all helpful stuff for me here. It also gives me the option to go into configure data monitoring. So if I wanna change the data monitoring, it just takes me to the data monitoring settings just in the preferences there. But yes, anyway, a great little update for Fire TV Stick users. Like I say, I've got mine on the 4K Max. It's the 21st of June, 2022. Let us know in the comments down below if you've got this new facility here. If you've, if when you go into network and then highlight your network, press the play pause button, whether you get this kind of layout 
on your system. Let us know what Fire Stick you've got, whether it's the first gen, the second gen, whether it's the light, whether it's the Fire TV stick, the 4K Max, the 4K or the Cube. Also, have a look on your Fire TV. If you've got a Fire TV, see if you've got this option on there as well. And let us know in the comments down below. And also, whilst you're here, don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel. I've got thousands of other videos, and I'm sure there'll be something else here that'll interest you. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.